Hello and welcome to Blender Tutorial 23 and uh, I'm going to go over texturing objects in Blender without actually using the uh, set the colors and stuff like an actual picture for your your color setting so I went to Mayang or Mayang textures okay Mayang.com uh, Google search textures and this is usually the first one um, I'm going to use the brick all you have to do is go to brick and uh, come down and choose one Choose something. Just choose this and click on again to get the large picture. Let it load a little bit. Alright, and now it's completely loaded. Save image as. I'm going to save this right to my desktop. Um, I don't know why it's saved as PL. Just type in JPG or JPEG, which is image. And we'll change this to rock, so we know what our image is. All right, say that as rock JPEG. Save it. All right, I'm gonna go down here, and here's our picture. All right, that we just saved. We'll open up Blender, and I'm just gonna use the surface. Well, I'll use the cube. Never mind. All right, so we have our cube. Instead of coming down here in the settings and these settings anyway and changing this color around we're going to use the image to project our color against the faces of this this object alright so to do this all I have to do is select it and um... well um, go into your object and hit tech face okay so all these things all this will go away right here all the color values just hit that and it will go away All right. That's because it, we're going to be using an image. Now, to do this, go to split area. Y'all know how to do that. UV image editor, okay? It's like a little picture of a face. Open up and you'll get this. Now, select your cube and instead of being in object mode, select UV face selection. Alright, select that. And I'm gonna, I'll do a more advanced unwrapping in a, in a while, but right now uh, I'm just going to do the basic. So, hit A, a to select everything and hit the U key and where it says uh, unwrap okay we'll do that one later that's for more advanced unwrapping and more specific alright so where it says unwrap smart projection just hit that and where it says island margin you don't have to worry about that really right now just hit it um, and now we have everything's unwrapped we just took this 3D object alright we just took this 3D object took all the faces on it and flattened it across the surface. Now, what we can do now is go to. I'm trying not to go too fast, but uh, now what we can do is go to image, and then hit open. Now all I have to do is search for our desktop. Scroll down. It says rock. You can select it and open the image. It took a little while because it's a big image. Alright, so select everything. Uh, well, hit reload because I didn't have all the faces selected. Which I should have. Make sure you have all your faces selected that you want the image to go to. Alright, and there you have it. It's all on there. Alright. Oh, and one thing about it is um, if you're doing a game engine, just notice that. Um, when you're further away, it's the picture is fuzzier, and when you come up, the picture gets clear. Um, that's just so that uh, it can save speed on your computer. And also, if you hit five to where you go in perspective mode and go inside of it, it looks like there's nothing even there. That's because your your texture is on the other side. You have to hit A for everything, <laughs> and then hit W, and then we're in, in your W with specials. You have to hit two sided and that'll let it uh come into inside of your object. Alright. And hit zero and hopefully I think I did everything right. Hit F twelve, you should be able to render it with the texture. Alright, there we go. And there you have it. Your image for a texture. Uh before you quit or you save the project, make sure you go into your UV face and hit select everything, hit image. And it should say pack image. This will save your image into the file, of the the Blender file. So you don't have to 
you don't ever have to open it up again and unload everything. And uh, if you want to view this in the game engine, just make sure you go where it says where it's solid, just make it textured, and hit F12. Oh, whoops. I mean, you have to hit the P key and go to object mode and hit the P key. I might go over a little bit of the game engine later on, but I want to get Blender's basics down first. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Alright.